Hey guys, it is I, the Zonix Build, and today I will be looking at one of my clock creations right here. And this clock is extremely amazing. And I'm going to show you how it all works and where my inspiration came off of and all of that. So a guy named Dylan Shallart made his own clock and, um, and this is just an escapement, like not like a full clock. But I thought it was a cool little running machine that he had made and that he said it would run for like three days. So I decided to make my own just smaller and more condensed. In fact, I'm using a battery box as part of the weight because I have two battery boxes and I don't need two of them at the moment for power functions. But um, I think this is really cool. And I wanna show you guys how it works because my design is slightly based off of his in a lot of ways, such as the fact that I can just reset this just like his version. And I did that with the same mechanism that he used, which is just a couple of little bendy pieces in there. And I will show you guys that in just a little bit. But this thing, I don't know how long this thing will run for, but if I were to guess, this thing would probably last about 45 minutes to an hour. But sometimes it does like to slow down and pause. So I did make a little thing right here that I could adjust left and right if if it's not perfect. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that you'll notice too is that it's got a pretty high gear ratio. And if I were to guess its gear ratio based on the math, I would say it's three times three times three, which is 27 times another three. So it's around 81 revolutions, which is pretty cool per one turn from here. So this thing will last a long time and I could make it even slower. This thing move even slower, but um, I just didn't want to, you know, make it more complex than it already is. But this thing is pretty nice, nevertheless. And I'm gonna now show you guys how it the inner core is built. So now looking here, we have it. And I took apart the pendulum, which is really just simple. I just have a gray Technic pin going into the um, three by three connector right here, which these connectors are pretty nice, especially since they're new pieces and all. Sort of. They're a little bit oldish, like they came in the Lambert, the Land Rover Defender. I was about to say Lamborghini, but that's wrong. Um, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, this thing moves extremely fast. And then the rewind function right here allows me to just rewind it and then have it go that way. Just pretty nice. Now, how does this work? Well, I'm about to show you when I take off this right here and this, and then I just pull this out. It runs on these little things right here, just like Dylan Shallard. Sorry if I uh, butcher your name. On his video, he had something similar to this and I sort of copied it and sort of did the same thing with the smaller tank treads. And then it just it just slides in. It's actually independent of this axle right here, which is pretty cool. It's actually pretty sturdy. Like it's not gonna go anywhere. And I thought it was gonna be looser when I saw it in his own video. So there we go. Now I'm gonna put this in and then slide in this axle beam like so. The nice thing too is this little base right here. I like the fact that I use these, um, the Technic frames. I would have liked to use the newer ones, but I didn't want to really wear them down in any way since I want this thing to be able to run for a very long time. Now I could always go back in and modify this, like I made it so that way I could just change it whenever I want. It's really simple. 
And then, yeah, there's that. And it works really nicely. And I did double up the, um, like, the pins right here and stuff. Mainly because, um, I didn't want them to, like, do anything weird or anything. Sometimes it does bump. Actually, that's because of this. There we go. Oh, let me push that in. There we go. So now it's working again. And that is a look at my Galileo clock with escapement. Probably the best, sturdiest escapement ever. Although I don't know if this thing will wear down over time. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever built something like this and had this piece wear down. Because I only have like three of these and I just don't want to have to replace them. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Go check me out over on Discord and on my gaming channel. And I will see you all in the next video. As soon as I get this back in place. There we go.